I felt like I came down quite quickly from like 24 to 16. Yeah. And I've sort of just not been feeling like I've been getting much better. Nice, so. What we're looking at is the distribution of pressure across the feet. You're unloading now from the floor, so you're very, very good, very powerful. Um, the problem is we're moving in a way that's making it tricky to strike the ball. If we take your left shoulder as the centre of the golf swing, so think if you can throw this, this here, this left shoulder, that's your centripetal point. That's where all the force is kind of being it's been transferred to extend the levers. Okay, and then when these all extend, you've got your maximum swing, your swing arc or radius. Mm -hmm. So where this is in space, in terms of up and down, side to side, rotation here, depth, is quite important to our potential to strike the ground. So for example, if I, well, as I swing back, where's the shoulder going? Is it going down or up? This, this left shoulder. It's going down. And as I turn that way, where's it going? Up. Up. Okay. So if I get to the top of my swing, and then I go this way, as I'm swinging down, yes, the club's going down, but what's going up is my golf swing. My low point, my maximum swing radius, if you like, the apex at the bottom, is going up and up and up and up as I'm swinging down and down and down. So what's happening is my golf swing's tilting and shifting and I'm, I'm bringing this in. It's also coming in shallow so I can kind of thin it. That's where your fins are coming from really. Okay. So even though you're creating really good movement in terms of ground reaction force, the way we're swinging with the body at the moment, just the sequence, isn't quite adapting enough to allow us to use this potential from the ground. So we've actually got to go down to move that low point as low as we can, depending on, depending on how much you want to push. And then we can push off the ground, and as we're pushing, the low point's coming up, but the pushing off accelerates you, mm. fires the club, and now the club starts to catch the ball before it meets the low point coming up. So you've got a low point that's coming up, and it's coming, it's three dimensional, it's coming back as well, but you're swinging out and it's coming back up. All this is going off, all we've got to do is just let it happen. The way we're moving at the moment, we're making it almost impossible. We're going to start swinging our arms. So it's an adapted version of walking. Walking is only this way. We're going to flip the upper body mechanics so it matches. And all I want you to do is let your arms swing up and down. As you twist your hips, belt buckle if you like, with the exercise we were doing earlier. Lovely. Your arms shouldn't move, you shouldn't need your arms to twist. Your arms just brush your, they brush your body. Swing it down, up and down from your shoulders. So you'll see when you watch your video back, the hips are twisting, but nowhere near enough for what we can do. Yeah, yes, so you can twist them. Now, what we've got to recognize is how it shouldn't throw off the arms. It shouldn't throw the arm swing off. So now we're going to make a bigger shoulder turn. So what I want you to do is make a big shoulder turn. And I'm going there. So big shoulder turn. One arm reaches back, one arm stretches forward. And what you're lengthening out, you're stretching that. And you're also stretching that out. And you twist this way. And then what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to, from here, from what you just felt, this way, you do the same the other way. Stretch the front arm line out stretch this contralateral chain out. Excellent, and your arms just swing up and down, and your rib cage, your shoulders rotate, your rib cage rotates like this. Awesome. That left arm, your arms can't do this, so your arm can't swing out to let you rotate. Your shoulder girdles, guys, so just do this with me first. These are separate. Just shrug them and roll them back. These are a different part of your body, they're not stuck to you. You don't need this. To rotate this. So we don't need to move the arm this way to rotate the body. So in a golf swing, we want the arms to react to the forces you're creating. And then we want to use the swing weight. So if you watch me first, here, look, this swings the arms up automatic. If I do this to rotate, now I've got to hit the club up. Now looking at me, what we're going to do, watch me first, you're just going to drop. 
Now, sit down a bit. Now you're gonna spring up, watch me first. You're gonna spring up and that's gonna give you the power for the twist. It's gonna open your body up. It's gonna give you the foots for it. Watch this. You stand up and it twists you the other way. Yeah, it opens you up. Yeah, now from here, you drop again and then you pop and it fires your rotations and opens you up. Yeah, so there's a drop in the middle and then a pop. Nice. So you drop and pop, drop and pop, and then you can spring, watch the drop. Now watch my feet, my feet can, I can use my feet and my body to spring up. Fantastic. That's perfect. Yes, Rory, and then drop and pop it. Yeah, all in one, off you go, brilliant. So your vertical is so important, not just for pushing off the floor, but opening up all your rotation. Well done. And again, what ball flight do you normally get? Left to right, left to right, and watch what these balls are doing. So I know you thinned it, okay, but just watch what the ball flight is doing. Watch the ball. Okay, so it doesn't matter where, it, where it's actually going, I just want you to watch the spin on it, how, whether it's going right to left or left to right. Watch it. See the curve? Yeah. So the last three shots have all done the same thing. Well played. Little draw again. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Fantastic. That's been quite compressed in it out of the middle. So. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. And it's all it's all brand new. So the feedback you're feeling is gonna be something different. It's a lovely swing, fantastic movement. Watch the shape. See, the yeah. balls are doing all doing the same thing. Yeah. So number one requirement for playing golf is we want some control of the ball fly. So you, you're developing a pattern of movement that's creating the same ball fly mm. with ability to adapt it. But at the minute, where we're at with our game and handicap, we want to tap into your power and develop that. We want to do it with a game that's reliable. Oh, draw again. Sometimes a little bit, sometimes not a lot, sometimes yeah. more, sometimes it might be a little bit, it might be a bit straighter. But what you've not got is suddenly this, this massive kind of De like deviation, yeah. Rory, yeah. Because that's just going to add more hesitancy into your swing. This is mm. going to let you commit more. This, is, this needs a bit of range time just for you to explore it. That's beautiful, well done. Different feeling? Yeah, for sure. Every ball's curving the same way. That's awesome. And just a nice little draw. Awesome. A little bit of draw. Starting right, drawing back, nice strike. And you're you're an inch off the floor. So yeah. Pretty much. Is, is the loss of balance is that, is that an issue at this point? Or no, that, you're so on a rocking board. Yeah. And it's, and so <laughs> when you go back to the ground, this is challenging you. I want you to become expert on this though, so it doesn't matter. But uh, no, don't worry at all. Your body's doing the work for you. It's great this. Your movement patterns are fantastic. Awesome, look at the draw again. I mean, you've got a fantastic golf swing. I have a few swings using the ground now. So, same thing which is on the ground. If you love the coaching and want to experience the effects of the training that you see with our pupils, you can purchase the GRFI system yourself by following the link in the video description. You'll get all the equipment and a two hour download covering all the fundamentals, exploring your movement and how you can use the ground and create those all important ground reaction forces and transfer them through to club head speed and experience the gains that you're seeing in the videos. Well done. Now the next thing we need to know is just where this spring takes us. If I can borrow the club, nice easy exercise. You're gonna go through this one as well in a second, Martin. All you do is take your stance, bring your left foot in this time you take a step and you twist the left foot in and spring. So normal stance, bring the left foot back towards the right. It's only a half step, tiny step. So when you swing back, you wind, basically you wind straight into your three. And spring in. Well played. Good job. Yeah, and twist the, twist the left foot in, turn it in like on the discs. Yes. Yeah. So you're loading your hip, you see, you're really loading. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, fantastic. Perfect. Yeah, good. 
Now that's your challenge. Now do it again. We've got to land. We've got to stay balanced at the end. That's it. Well done, Rory. Turn the foot in a bit more, hasn't it? Nice. Now, go and have a shot. Good. All we've got to do is make sure the spring, the four, takes us to a nice, relaxed, comfortable, stable finish. So that's it. And then spring. Hold it there. Stay there. Let your elbows relax at that core. That's it. Stay there. You may stay, 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 stay. Just let the club relax on your shoulder. Well played. There's your balance. Don't worry about the strike. Purpose yeah. was the balance. So it's never just like, I need more balance, just hold the finish. It's what's happening before that's compromising the balance. Oh. Shot. Yeah, I ripped that on. <laughs> Same flight, little draw. Different feeling? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Nice sound. Awesome. Yeah, just a little bit. Fantastic. Just grab your driver. Perfect, there's your draw. Yeah. Awesome. I'll certainly that. <laughs> awesome. Well, that come off. <laughs> like a rocket. It's, uh, it's, you see the fly? Yeah. So again, you've got a natural draw. Look at that. That's awesome. That's strong. Yeah. Feel oh, good? Happy with that? Yeah. Fantastic. That. That's awesome. Shall I yeah. like that golf swing. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. That. Brilliant. Cheers. Awesome. Well done, Rory. Cool,